Well, well, well. Okay, well, okay, I hope everybody's coming in. Got a few minutes. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Tonight, but anyway. One minute two. Well, it is 8 p.m. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Prophetic Prayer Line live chat with me, Patricia McKenzie. Welcome. It's Wednesday night, November 18th, 2020. Pray you all had a great day. Come on in. Come on in here. Let's see what the Holy Spirit has for us tonight. Okay, so let's 
Ajá. So the music I have in the background is basically um, worship music that I do not own the rights to, so please don't sue me. <laughs> okay. Again, this is Patricia McKenzie. Welcome to Prophetic Prayer Line live chat. Patricia McKenzie, I'm on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 8 to 9 p.m. One hour of power with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So I pray that you're on, that you're watching, that you, you feel that, oh, God's got a word for us tonight. Yay. Amen. So I will let you all listen to that for a little bit and let's see who's going to chime in. And you, know, you can live chat with me um, on the side there. And if you have any praise reports, if you have any prayer requests, supplications, you want me to touch and agree with you on something. And usually we just go into a, go into a teaching, if I feel led, of the Holy Spirit. But otherwise, I guess I'll guess I'll talk talk about my day. But I'll open in prayer. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you for this audience tonight. Thank you for um, this prophetic prayer line live chat, and that Holy Spirit, you would have your way on this live chat. And that you would bring those on who would watch it today, tomorrow, next week, 10 years from now. And we will be blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So I pray everybody's day was great today. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We are that close away from gobble gobble day. You know, they call it Thanksgiving. Well, every day is Thanksgiving. Whatever way you look at it. Every day. In Christ Jesus is Thanksgiving. Um, and basically, it's a Native American day, basically. Native American Indians uh, celebrating. And maybe they're not really celebrating. So really to find out what Thanksgiving really was about. Let's see what I can find. Definition of Thanksgiving Day. Let's see what it comes up with. Amen. Hallelujah. So while we're waiting for that to come up, glory to God. I had a very interesting day. Um, I had a class. I had a few classes. To, I had a few classes today, but, but one particular class that I really, 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 really enjoy, and. Um, Oh, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Now, Thanksgiving Day. Uh, one, the expression of gratitude, especially to God. Hmm. He offered prayers in Thanksgiving for his safe arrival. Now, I'm not going Here's the to... definition of Thanksgiving. Uh-uh, no, she didn't. <laughs> I'm not going to give that definition um, because I know there's more to this definition than what comes up on Google. So I'm not going to give that that particular definition because there is another one that we have, the true meaning, and I'm sure that it's closer to the truth than the one that I just saw. Uh huh. You know. Um, yeah, I'm not going to read that one, but I look at it as Thanksgiving is every day. Amen. You know, Thanksgiving is every day, every day that we're on this on this planet, breathing in, breathing out, whether on our own or respirator or whatever. We're here to <clears throat> lift up the name of Jesus. I'm grateful and thankful for that. So, soto. <laughs> Oh, glory, Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Robia Baba Satara Bahashaya. 
come on in if you have questions. Just type them in on the where it says chat. Like, share, please do. Thank you, Jesus. And I believe tonight what um, I wanted to share with you all was like resurrection power. And I'm just looking through my, um, you know, Jesus, the resurrection power of God. Mm. Hallelujah. You know, Jesus did a lot of things um, pertaining to raising folks from the dead. Resurrection power. But in today's modern times, what is resurrection power? So resurrection, let's look that up. Because, you know, I have my little Oxford English Dictionary. So I'm going to look up the word resurrection. Hallelujah. Promise keeper. This our God. That is who you are. Hey, maker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, our God, that is who you are. Resurrection, the action of resurrecting. The time when Jesus rose, rose from the dead, that's what it has for resurrection. Worship you. So that's resurrection. When Jesus rose from the dead, resurrection. When something is dead and is resurrected back to life. Hey, shout out a whole saying. What do you need resurrected in your life? Mm. What do you need resurrected in your life? Do you need to resurrect the ministry God has called you to in your life? How about resurrecting something that has never been resurrected? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do we, what about resurrecting our relationship with our family members? What about resurrecting our lives with our children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, family members that we've lost touch over the years? Resurrection power. Bring something back alive that's supposed to be alive. Hey, Resurrecting. Hallelujah. Finances. Hallelujah. After this being in this pandemic for eight months now, because this is November. I mean, resurrecting finances. Suppose you've lost your job and you're just living from your savings are paycheck to paycheck or however help from family members, friends, however you're making it by faith. You want to resurrect those finances. Hallelujah. Resurrecting relationships. Hey, Resurrecting relationships with the right people who can take you to your next level in God. Hallelujah. Resurrection power, resurrecting that which was dead, bringing it back to life. Jesus was resurrected from the dead. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm. And how many people did Jesus resurrect? Whether it was from death to life, whether it was a healing a healing, glory to God. Whether it was a healing, thank you, Lord. Resurrecting from being diseased or having illness or sickness and being resurrected to wholeness and health, that's resurrection power, hallelujah. Oh, Rabba Shaka, Baba Baba Bashake. Glory to God. Mm. 
resurrection power. What about in, in your life? Say God says, oh, I want you to go back to school. And you haven't been in school in 20, 30, 15, maybe more years. That's resurrection. But you have to trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I have a short testimony on that. Uh, when the Lord, you know, told me to go back to school, go back to college. And I was like, what? Go back to college. <laughs> I mean, I, I teach as a teaching. When I was going into the school system, I teach as a teaching artist, um, dance in the schools, elementary school, middle school, uh, the, the lower grades, kindergarten, uh, daycare age, all the way up to high school. And I always wanted to teach which I have gotten a chance to, to teach on a university level, teach dance to those who really want to dance, not those that you have to pull teeth and go, come on, let's do this work, this warm up. Okay, roll down. Okay, get up. No, 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 no. Teaching those who have a hunger and thirst for movement to dance. Amen. So that's resurrection. So the Lord said for me to go back to school to go back to college. I'm like, at this time of my life, really? I'm talking about three years ago now. Okay, I'm I'm down to the wire. And so I was like, well, trying to talk myself out of it, you know, trying to bargain with God, you know. Well, maybe you want my daughter to go back to school. Maybe you want her to go to college. She ain't going, you go. Okay. So I, I go along this path and lo and behold, everything fell into place, the place to go and everything else that goes with it. I got into the college that I felt led that I was supposed to go to. Everything happened, boom, 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 down to the wire. So I had to, it was a part of my life. That need, hey, Rabba Shatara Bahaya, that need to be resurrected. Hallelujah. What do you need resurrected in your life? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What do you need resurrected in your life? So going back to college has been such, ah, on one side it's, it was very scary and the other side is exhilarating and exciting now that gone through all those semesters, you know, um, scary because, you know, being a student in college, I like, I won't say how long ago, but it was like, okay, that was really, you know, can I do the work? Can my brain click that quick? You know, I needed resurrection power in my brain. I needed resurrection power to sit and just do homework. I needed resurrection. Hey, Rabba Shatara Bahaya. I needed resurrecting power to say within myself, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. I had to do that. I had to cry out to the Lord every time I had the chance. Lord, I need you. I can't do this by myself. I know you said go back to college. Go ahead and get your degrees. Hallelujah. But it was a part of my life that had been lying dormant for a long period of time. So when the Lord said go back to college, I was like, you want to resurrect, resurrect me in education? Are you serious right now, Lord? Really? And I says, okay, but wherever you getting ready to go, hey, shakaba satarabasha, wherever you getting ready to take me, I obviously need these degrees at sata to go where you want to take me. The more knowledge you have, the more understanding you have, karabasha, the more wisdom you have to go forth and operate where God wants you to operate in the marketplace. Hey. Glory to God. To be resurrected, to go into the marketplace. How can you go and minister to somebody in the fashion, fashion department? 
or the fashion industry and you have no concept of the fashion world. You have to resurrect that which you already knew. Hallelujah. And if you don't know, then you need to go study. So study to uh, st go to study. Approve yourself unto God. Paraphrasing y'all. So yeah, if that's an area that he's calling you to, if he's calling you to the area of banking and finances and you have no clue about that, then we need to get, watch a YouTube video, read uh, 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 different publications, Wall Street Journal, Financial Times, uh, Black Enterprise, whatever, uh, 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 periodical. We can go online now to the different libraries, hallelujah, and get the different periodicals and the different articles and, 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 and familiarize ourselves with that particular kingdom part. Hallelujah. Glory to God in banking and finances. Oh God. Hallelujah. In fashion. This is marketplace. Hallelujah. Woo. I say, uh, God taking us a whole different way. Hallelujah. So to be a marketplace prophet, everybody ain't going to be in the pulpit. You see, ain't nobody really in the pulpit now. Everybody's online. Virtual church, Zoom meetings, and whatever other sorts of way that people are connecting online. Distance learning. Hallelujah. Everything has gone technology, basically. Glory be to God. So where do you need God to resurrect something in your life? Were you looking to become a writer, a novelist? This is the perfect time to sit down in front of your computer, your laptop, your tablet. Where's my tablet? Hallelujah. Whatever device you have, amen, and start to write. Even if it's one sentence, at least you started it. Resurrect that. Ah, yeah, Resurrect the spirit of a, a, a scribe. Hallelujah. It might be one word to the paper. It's something. And every day, get up and do another line. Do another sentence. Let the Holy Spirit resurrect that gift that's lied dormant in you for such a long period of time. Or maybe you didn't even know you had ah yarabo sata the gift to write. Mm, mm, mm. Let the Holy Spirit resurrect it and be that marketplace novelist with a prophetic edge. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, they still have Kindles. Yes, they have audio books. Yes, the stores are still selling hardcover books. I like to put my hand on a book. I like the paper ones. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But what do you want God to resurrect in your life? Hallelujah. What about your ministry? Since we've been out of the brick and mortar church, what about your ministry? Was it be, was it in within the four walls? Some people still traveling to minister, to preach at different churches, teaches and stuff. Hey, that's what God gave them. God bless you. Get there safely in Jesus' name. But what about those who have evangelistic street ministries? People are still going out into the street and preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. But does that have to be resurrected in you? Hallelujah. Glory to market pray, marketplace prophets. Say it's your call to Wall Street. I don't know what they're doing on Wall Street now. I would have to Google that whole thing. But suppose you just want to trade. Be on a trading floor, stocks and trades and however that whole world world works. Maybe God has to resurrect that in you. And maybe you just have a desire to do something that you've never, ever done before. But you feel a pull, a pull in your spirit. Hey, Shadabahasa, to do this particular thing. You don't know why. You don't know how come. You just know it's down in the the recesses of your spirit. And you're like, yeah, I feel like I'm supposed to be yada, yada, yada. Whatever yada, yada, yada might be for you. 
I, I, I feel like I'm supposed to be a nail technician. Well, how do I go about doing that now? Because we're on quarantine, but we're on in the pandemic in this uh, uh, Corona 19, 20, whatever. Amen. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But how do I go about becoming a nail technician? YouTube is very, very helpful, y'all. You can learn anything on YouTube. If you want to learn how to knit, if you want to learn how to play chords on a piano, if you want to play guitar, ukulele, play drums, there is a, a quick in your mind, neuroscience, neuroplasticity, uh, psychology, just a myriad of subjects to just dive into and just open up a whole new place in your heart. And it could touch on some things that God has placed strategically down in your spirit for such a time as this. Glory to God. Like I said, everybody's not going to be in the pulpit. I don't think a whole lot of people are going to be in the pulpit anymore. Everything's going to be online. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But amen. Suppose you felt like you wanted to go to school to be a chef. A pastry chef, you know, a chef, period. Hallelujah. What would you do? You get in your kitchen. You do your best cooking. Maybe you make the best sweet potato pies this side of the Mississippi. I don't know. What is in your spirit that needs to be resurrected? Hallelujah. This is the Holy Spirit done took this a whole nother way. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But resurrect. Ask the Lord. We'll pray about that, to resurrect that in your life that has lied dormant for a long time or may have been lying dormant as a seedling down on the inside of you. And you didn't know it was there, but you have a little inkling of, uh, mm, this is something I desire to do, but I don't want to tell anybody because they're going to think it's stupid. It's not about what anybody thinks. It's between you and God. Amen. So hallelujah. Somebody... Type something in there for the live chat. Come on, talk to me, y'all. What do y'all need resurrected in your life? Hallelujah. Maybe health. Maybe exercise. You can still exercise even though, you know, the gyms are open. Some are open. It's up to you if you want to go. There's people that have classes on the outside. It's getting a little chilly now outside. You know, you can wear um, layers. Or there's people who actually put their whole routine online and you can for sometimes for a cost not a lot you can get on your tablet get on your android or your iphone and have your exercise with music to your favorite person who is your trainer amen what do you need resurrected in your life Hallelujah. Maybe resurrecting a new way of eating. Maybe because of this pandemic. I know a lot of people, maybe myself included, have might gained a couple of pounds somewhere along the line. And you go, you know, I got to change the way I eat. You know, uh, maybe I'll uh, put this to the side and instead of having those Oreo cookies that I had today, four of them. <laughs> Maybe I'll just eat an apple and have a pear. Maybe even make a smoothie, you know, get the smoothie, put some sea moss in there, put some really good things in there to build up our immune system. You know what I'm saying. And just start a new uh, nutritional regimen, you know, just go as the Holy Spirit leads you. You know, maybe you have uh, books in the house that you haven't never read. You know, you might be one of those people that buys books or buys books online or through Amazon have have uh, uh, purchased some books and haven't had time to read them. Now that you have all the time that you want, my scarf keeps inching up. Now you have all the time that you want. You can sit down and read that book. Hallelujah. May get some ideas resurrect that desire. Amen. Glory to God. This is so interesting. Resurrect, maybe binge watching Netflix or Hulu or, you know, maybe you have some videos that are 
good videos, good videos. And you want to sit down and resurrect and laugh, resurrect laughter. Laughter is as good medicine. The joy in Nehemiah says the joy of the Lord is our strength. As long as we have a smile on our face, a smile in our spirit, hallelujah. Resurrecting joy, oh my God, because you know it, it's so easy to get down and depressed and feel oppressed in such a time as this. But this is the time to keep hold, hold tight to our joy. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Hold tight to just laughing, maybe telling jokes, maybe watching something on one of the channels or even on YouTube that will just have you laughing. And the laughing, I believe, uh, uh, endorphins are released, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, is released and in your body and things happen and you're like, oh my God, I feel joyful again. Just laugh, even laughing at dumb jokes. You know, sometimes I, I go and I, uh, you know, scroll through something on Facebook and something will just have me bust out laughing. And I'm by here by myself busting out laughing. That's resurrection power, y'all. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Come on in to this talk we have in here, this prophetic prayer line, live chat. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What would you what do you need resurrected in your life? Do you need more joy in your life? Do you know do you need to laugh more? Do you need to just shake it off? You know, whatever that thing is that's hanging on you, just shake it off. You know, resurrect, resurrect the joy of the Lord. Resurrect the uh, uh, happiness in your life. I think happiness is a little bit more tempor temp uh, temporary. Joy is continuous. You know what I'm saying? You know, so whatever it is that you want to resurrect in your life, or you want the Lord to resurrect in your life, ask him. He's, he's, Lord, I need you to resurrect, you know, I need to learn some new recipes. Maybe you love to cook. Maybe you just like, oh, I just love cooking. It's very therapeutic or it's very um, cathartic to cook, to stand in the kitchen and just, you know, add different ingredients and different spices and different things and try new things and just go, oh, whether it's for yourself, whether it's for your family, whether it's for you and your children, whether it's for you and your spouse or your significant other, just trying something new recipe wise. Amazing. And you have no idea what is resurrected in you. Maybe there's a chef lying down on the inside of you, a chef. Ha <laughs> ha. And during this time of pandemic, you'd be surprised. So many entrepreneurial people have come forth. People have started their business that they always wanted to start or had uh, on the side, you know, so they might have been like making baking cupcakes on the side. Maybe that was a side gig, you know, beside the nine to five. And now that you're not doing the nine to five, you could make, you could do your cupcakes all the time and make it a full-time business, entrepreneurial business person, you know, and this is the time that people are doing their dreams. What's your dream that you need resurrected? Do you want to do real estate? Do you want to own your own home? I, I hear that this is a good time to, to look for a place to, to not just reside, but to purchase as a piece of property. Maybe this is the time to work on yourself. You know, we talk, talked about it uh, a few um, weeks ago, that some women are women in waiting, waiting for their kingdom men, their kingdom husbands, their Boaz to their Ruth or their Abraham to your Sarah, however you all want to put it that way. Maybe it's time to just work on you, you know, work on the body, work on the hair, work on working on the face, work on whatever it is you need to work on that makes you feel good. Work on your feet. Sometimes we only work on our feet in the summertime or when it gets ready to be summertime, but working on our feet. Cause you know, once you get married, woo, honey, those feet, hallelujah, work on your fingernails. You know, maybe you could just 
Start giving yourself your own manicure, your own mani pedi. Me, for instance, I have the little sauna, the sauna thing for your feet. We could just put the the salt the the salt bath or whatever that is, and and then take you know put your feet in there, and you have that you know just like in the salon. The only thing you're paying yourself, you're not paying the salon, right? The nail salon, you pay yourself. Put a little jar on the side, put whatever tip you would give to the the people there, and give yourself your own pedicure. You know, take your time. Use these. Uh, what do they call these? Hold on. Yeah. You know, they usually use those little flip-flops. Put those between your toes, you know? And it separates the toes. And you could do your own little pedicure. And who knows? If you have a daughter, a niece, or you all live in the same house, where maybe you could give you give each other Manny Petties. That's something to do. That's resurrecting a relationship between you and your child. You and your adult child, maybe, or you and your niece, or someone, you know, that's in your household. Maybe even resurrecting the relationship. Amen. Glory be to God. So come on in, y'all. Come on in. Who's on there? Hello. 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 Patricia McKenzie coming to you live <laughs> this Wednesday night, resurrecting different... Uh, talents. <laughs> so Patricia McKenzie coming to you live every Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, 8 to 9 p.m., one hour of power. Me and the Holy Spirit in here just going forth and, and giving you what I believe the Lord wants you to have. Today, I don't know which way we're going to go. What I, he gave me was, what the Lord gave me was resurrection power and it, Took a whole different turn, but just roll with me, y'all. Roll with me, roll with me, roll with me. Hey, roll with me. You know what? That's another good thing. Resurrect your dancing. Okay? Resurrect. If you're a dancer or you just like to dance, or even if you're a trained dancer, I see people online still, you know, out in Central Park. I'm not going to name who it is. But out in Central Park, and they meet like I think every sun every Sunday or every Saturday, and they have the different places in Central Park in New York City, and that's what hey shakabasaya roho shikiarabasa, and they are out there doing their ballet and doing their awesome stretches, and they they have a live uh, keyboard player or piano player, so that's one way to resurrect. That gift of dancing. You, if you've never taken a class and you want to go out there and take a class, go find her on IG. Okay, Cat, I'm gonna give you a quick uh, shout out. Cat Wildish, Cat <laughs> Wildish, that's who it is. Okay, Cat, I'm sending you some people. Okay, this is a free advertisement for you, Cat Wildish. Love you. Anyway, teaching ballet and teaching point classes. So there's there's folks who are doing such awesome things. I ran into another group in Marcus Garvey Park in Harlem, and it was a gentleman teaching a West African class. And we just kind of stood there, myself and another dancer friend of mine. And we were like, hey, hey, we could get into this. And one of the people came up to us later on because we had joined the class. It was on the, it was on the grass. You know, nobody said anything. They had all their drummers out there and people are just moving and going to going over the choreography that it was given. So one of the ladies came to me and she was like, oh, you know, this way we meet here this day, this time, da, da, da. And it costs X, Y, Z amount of money. I was like, oh, okay. In other words, it's not a free class. But she did it in such a wonderful way. I was like, okay, no problem. <laughs> so we kind of like backed out of the, you know, out, off the grass where they were uh, conducting their class. So it was okay. It was beautiful. But I was like, it was still decent because if you go have gone into the studios, you're going to pay 18 to $22 per class. You know, I remember when dance classes were $4. Am I telling on myself, y'all? Okay. I remember Clark Center, you bought a 10 class card. It was less than $100. If you bought a 10 class card for Madame Gabriela Tab Davash, okay. Shout out to Madame Davash, my mentor. 
Hallelujah. Back in the day, you could get a 10 class card for way less than $75. But it, let's resurrect those prices. Hallelujah. Let's let's do five dollar classes instead of $22 classes that some dancers can't afford. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Um, you know, to God be all the glory and teaching on a, a university, a college university level teaching dance, which is awesome. Hey, you know, not in the building now, but maybe online. Glory be to God teaching West African to my students there at the college. Amen. So, you know, resurrect something. Ask the Lord to resurrect something. How about resurrecting how to put on eyelashes? Glory to God. Amen. And how to make them stick. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, anything you want to learn or anything you want to resurrect or you have a desire to learn to do again, YouTube. Oh, yeah. Or Google the question. You know, how do I do? How do I make a documentary film? And on YouTube, find somebody that can understand what they're saying, that they don't have a heavy enough accent that I can't understand what they're talking about. And step by step by step by step, resurrect that desire to be that uh, filmmaker, resurrect that desire to continue to be an executive uh, producer of television shows, resurrect resurrect that teaching gift of teaching dance, resurrect that gift of reading and ex expanding, expanding and stretching out uh, our brain to receive more knowledge, hallelujah. Resurrection power of Jesus Christ can do all of that and then some, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. What about if you're somebody who's a, I have some, some friends who are fashion designers and they are good at what they do. Say they have their model form and they do their draping and they do their sewing and they put it together and they have a garment. So resurrect that. Let's see, maybe I'm talking to myself, somebody with a couple of soul machines, amen. But anyway, <laughs> so resurrect that which you think that have died. Holy Spirit, what do I need to resurrect in my life? How about resurrecting love? Mm. Love from the inside out, love. For those who might not be lovable in your sight, but they're loved by Almighty God. Woo-wee. Glory be to God. Resurrecting just something, something that you want God to resurrect in your life. And again, like I said, if you have never done that, have never thought about doing that, resurrecting something new in your life because it's, it's been dead. It's been lying dormant. The seed is there. You got to water, water the seed, right? What does the scripture say? One plants, one waters. God gives the increase. Glory be to God. Learning more about how to type, not just Bing, 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 bing. Using all your fingers, learning the keyboard so you can type a little faster, Patricia. Ding, 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 ding. Resurrect the fact that I memorized the keyboard on a laptop. And now to keep my eyes off the keys and just look at the screen and type from memory. Resurrect that in my life, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. And then let me get some speed on it. <laughs> you know, people you say, oh, I type 30 something. I type such and such amount. A minute. Mm. So resurrect that. I have a uh, uh, friends overseas. I have friends on the other side of the planet. Friends in Japan. Friends in, in, in Paris. Fr France. I have friends in Europe. Places in Europe. Resurrect the prayer life, resurrect intercession, 
resurrect Bible reading, resurrect being in the presence of God for more than five minutes and you not doing all the talking. Take time to sit and listen, maybe even with a pad, maybe even with a pad, type up what the Lord is saying to you. Or if you're like me, I like to write things out. I don't know, paper to pen, that's just me. I like to write things out. You know, um, technology is great. Resurrect. And that's one of my one of my uh, resurrection things is I am technologically savvy. So learning how to use my smartphone, use learning how to use tablet, learning how to use laptop. You know, all these devices. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. Let the Lord resurrect your mind. Hallelujah. Resurrect the mind so that you can grasp all that information in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> so I pray that you're learning, getting something out of this. Hallelujah. I didn't know we were going to go this way, but this is the way we're going. So I hope you're having a good time. Somebody type something in there for me. Tell me where you're from. You have any prayer requests? Hallelujah. Do you have anything that you want the Lord to resurrect in your life? Hallelujah. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. This is Patricia McKenzie coming to you live on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night, 8 to 9 p.m., one hour of power of the Holy Spirit. Never know what the Lord is going to give us, whether it's a teaching, whether it's a prophetic word, whether, you know, we'll see how the Lord moves. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday night, and sometimes on Tuesdays and Thursday evenings, and sometimes Saturday mornings. Haven't done it yet on Sunday, but don't put it past him. Okay, so if he tells me to get on, at he, the Holy Spirit, tells me to get on at Sunday morning, yes, sir, I'm on. And I'll alert everybody on IG and Facebook that I'm on. So, um, resurrecting, oh, resurrecting my television program. This year, 21 years on the air. Faith and Fitness TV broadcast, The McKenzie Project. Been on the air. This year has made tw start of 21 years on the air. It's an infotainment talk show. And I am the executive producer and host of the show. Uh, interviewing celebrities, Hollywood wives, uh, people in the community, those who are artists, musicians, poets, writers, dancers, those in the performing arts, uh, going out on, uh, let's see, going out in on location when we go out on location and filming different events, uh, just awesome. So, go on over to Facebook and look me up, Patricia McKenzie, Faith and Fitness TV broadcast, infotainment talk show host. Amen. So again, this is. Uh, prophetic prayer line live chat on YouTube. Hallelujah. I'm Patricia McKenzie, and this is Wednesday night, November 18th, 2020. So, okay, so resurrecting this uh, platform, resurrecting this platform for me was new because I started out on in September on Zoom, Zoom meetings, and I was doing Zoom lives. Zoom meetings, and for whatever reason, I don't know, people couldn't chime in. I I don't know what happened with Zoom, but I, I said, let me leave it there for now. Let's see if I can get another platform. And lo and behold, woohoo! YouTube Live jumped up, and I was like, okay, let's try this. So I tried it. I liked it. Uh, and and been pretty successful at it. And so I'm looking forward to even uh, uh, maybe doing Periscope, other, uh, what do you got? Social media platforms. That's it. Work with me, roll with me, y'all. I'm learning the lingo. It comes over to social media and all this technology. Hey, resurrect me, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, um, yeah, so hopefully you've learned something here today or got something, walked away with something. It's 8.45. Um, what else can I? 
share with y'all. Mm-hmm. So just being on this platform, social media platform, has been really exciting and challenging for me. And I say challenging because in this day and time when you're in school and you're in the classroom, I'm talking about before the pandemic happened and they started shutting down all the schools and, and stuff like that, which I think is great. Um, then it brought us over to a, brought me over to a platform where I was not familiar so much with. So I had to ask, I'll resurrect this Lord. You know, we have everything we need that on the inside of us. I do believe that. And we have to call, call on that. That's within us, the Holy spirit to like, okay, you, my teacher, you, 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 my counselor, you, you lead and guide me into all truth, Holy spirit. So show me how to do this. And I realized, um, certain people are different type of learners. All of us are different type of learners. So I had to learn or relearn, resurrect, what kind of learner I am. I am a hands-on kinetic learner. I'm not, um, I can learn uh, uh, visually. I'm a visual learner also. Very, not so much auditory. I have to visually see it. You got to show me choreography. Let me see it a few times. First time, and maybe I do kudakada pa 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 pa. Okay. Second time, kudakada kudakada kudakada. Got it. Okay. Third time, boom. Got it. Kinetically, I need to put my hands on it. It's like I get a new phone. And it's like my daughter was like, "Oh, let me show you how to do it," and she put it in her hands. I was like, "No, no, 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 no." I need to hold it in my hands. I need to press the buttons. I need to understand hand to phone what I'm doing, technologically savvy. I can't have someone stand there and hold it for me and show me how they do it. I need to do it myself. So that's, I believe that's being tactical, a tactical learner. I'm a visual learner. I'm a kinetic learner. Movement, movement. Amen. So knowing the kind of learner you are, and resurrecting that in yourself takes the frustration out of whatever it is you're trying to learn how to do. Does that make sense? That makes sense, right? I'm sorry, my scarf keeps like, uh. so again, I'm a visual learner. I'm a, a tactical learner and I'm a kinetic learner. And so knowing that um, it's easier for me to, to learn. Um, resurrect that in my life. I'm a hands-on person. Hands-on. Let me see. No, don't show me. Let, tell me what to do. Okay, press that. Okay, and then I have to do what? Okay. Da, 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 da. And sometimes I can sit there and write down the, write down how to do it, but sometimes that doesn't work for me. <laughs> so I have to actually just do it, play around with it, hit buttons, touch stuff, and people say, well, what did you do? If you ask me what I did, I'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> I was just pressing buttons. But then again, it goes down back in my spirit. And then it resurrects when somebody else goes, do you know how to do this? And I go, oh, yeah, this is how you do that. Boom, 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 boom. And I never thought that I received it. And it was imparted to me down in my spirit. So when somebody says, can you, do you know how to do this? Oh yeah, all you got to do is da, da 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 And I never recognized that I received it like that. I, am I explaining this right? It's like, I don't know. It's, it, help me, Lord. Okay. Perfect example. At school, say um, I have to uh, scan something, Right at the library in school when I was in the building on campus. So I scan a, a document. Once I scan that document, it's still in the computer. So I have my flash drive, put the flash drive into the port, press a certain button, that document that I um, scanned downloads to the travel drive, right? I take that travel drive to another department in the library. I have already downloaded 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Downloaded the document that I need for class and it's on my travel drive, right? I go to the other department on their computer, put the travel drive in the port. Mind you, I just learned how to do that at that time. Put that travel drive or flash drive in the port into the computer. Press whatever I need to press. The document comes up. Oh, press print. Send it to the printer. Wait for the job to be done. Go over to the printer. Go through the paper, see which one is yours. Ah, this is my document. Thank you very much. Now, mind you, ha, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. The end product is the document is in my hands. It's no longer in the computer. It is, but it's not. It's no longer just on the travel drive or the flash drive. Right? It is in paper form. It's in paper form in my hands, a document that I scanned, downloaded on my travel drive, flash drive, took it to another computer, uploaded it, pressed some buttons, see the document come up, press print, it comes out, and you have the paper version of the document that you scanned from a book or whatever. Amen? That's pretty cool. Now, if I had to write that down and read that off and go, what's the next step? It would have took me a little longer. But I learned to do it by hands-on, tactical learning. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're coming. Let me, let me, let me look that up. Hold on a second. Hold on, y'all. Tactical learning definition. No, I didn't say practical. I said tactical. No, not practical. Hold on, y'all. Tactical. Tactical. Lord have mercy. <laughs> you see, this is this. Is, okay, let me type that in. Tac T A C. Tac. T. C. O. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Okay, tactical learning style. Let's try that one. Tactical learning style. So anybody put anything in here? Okay. Hallelujah. Okay, so tactical learning style. Let's see what Google says. But that's who that's that's me. I'm a hands-on. You know, don't just verbally tell me and I have to write it down. I have to look at point one, point two, point three. No, just let me just do it. Ta ah, tactical learning style. Mm. Unsourced, kinetic, kinesthetic learning or tactical learning is a learning style in which learning takes place by the students carrying out physical activities rather than listening to a lecture or watching demonstrations. That's me. Tactical learning or kinetic is the same thing, is a learning style in which learning takes place by the students carrying out physical activities rather than listening to a lecture or watching demonstrations. Perfect kinesthetic learning. So tactical, I'm a tactical learner. I learned something tonight, y'all. Tactical and kinesthetic is the same. I ain't scared. I learned something new. I'm always open to learn new. So resurrected. Tactical, kinetic learning. What style of learning are you? What, what style of learning uh, do you need resurrected in your life? Anyway, it is five minutes to the hour. I have just enjoyed this YouTube live prophetic prayer line, live chat. I, 
you know, I'm still waiting for somebody to chat. I'm, I'm the one chatting on the side over here. But anyway, it's okay. And once this goes off, once I end this prophetic prayer line live chat, I send it over to Facebook Live. So you can go to my Facebook page and it should be up there momentarily. So you can watch it either on Facebook, Patricia McKenzie, or you can watch it a little later on YouTube Live. You just have to type in Wednesday night prophetic prayer line live chat. Because there's a lot of, when you go down on YouTube, you'll go, prophetic prayer line and a whole lot of other people pop up. So I did my prophetic today's date, which is Wednesday, uh, the 18th of November, 2020 pop up. All right. So <laughs> it pops up and I go, okay. Uh, prophetic prayer line, live chat Wednesday. Okay, so Father, in the name of Jesus, I give your name all the praise, honor, and glory. I thank you for this Wednesday night prophetic prayer line live chat on YouTube as well as over on my Facebook page. I thank you that everybody that watched it today, tomorrow, who will watch it tomorrow, next week, 10 years from now, will be blessed, including myself when I rewatch the, the replay. So thank you, Father. Bless and keep each and every person that is watching on tonight that might not got a chance get a, got a chance to to type anything in the live chat. Don't be don't be shy. I'm here. We're sh we're learning together. So prayerfully, uh, I bless your people, Father, in Jesus' name. Until we come together again on Friday or Thursday, bless them and keep them and keep us all under the precious blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. And it's a few minutes too. Glory to God. Um, if you're watch, going to watch this later on on YouTube Live, remember type in uh, Wednesday Night Prophetic Prayer Line Live Chat. This will come up. Please like and please share. Please let somebody know that I'm on. I usually put it up on IG and Facebook that I'm coming on in a half an hour or whatever the case might be always from 8 to 9 p.m. And sometimes if I come on on another time, another day, like a Tuesday or Thursday or Saturday, it might be a morning. So I'll always put it up there and let you know that I'm coming on in such and such a time. So please chime in. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And to all my, um, my classmates out there, we're coming down to the wire with these finals. Hallelujah. Semester went so quick. Thank you, Jesus. Um, amen. Amen. So anybody want to say anything here? Come on in. Let's see what the Holy Spirit has to say. Well, I see I have some people there. Hi, wave at me. Type something. Say hi to me. Hello. How are you? Okay. It's all right if you don't have to. All right. So again, thank you for watching this YouTube live. My name is Patricia McKenzie. And I come on on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 8 to 9 p.m., one hour of power. And we on here, seeing what the Holy Spirit will give us, um, going forth to do the work of the Lord in this time of pandemic and quarantine and, and COVID-19. But we are blessed. Stay under the blood of Jesus, under Psalm 91. And keep your eyes lifted unto the Lord. He is with us. With us wherever we goeth. Um, bless you and keep you in the mighty name of Jesus until we meet again. Hallelujah. Bless you all. Bless you all. Bless you all. Stay warm because the weather is changing really quickly. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So you got like one minute. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 9 p.m. God bless you all. Have a blessed evening in Jesus' name. Thank you for chiming in tonight. Bless you in Jesus' name. Signing off, Patricia McKenzie.